everyone, what is going on? My name is Janice Bateri and this is my van tiny home. I've been doing work on it for a little bit and I've also been living in it for a little bit and today I am going to put in a solar upgrade so I thought I'd make a video and bring you guys along to show you what I'm doing because also at this point I'm not 100% sure what I'm doing but we are going to figure this out together. <music> So I've been living in my van for the last six months, which was a very good trial of figuring out what I needed to change and fix. And one of the things that I needed to upgrade is my power situation. For the entire winter, I powered my life off of this guy right here. It is a Florion, which was just some off-brand power bank that I got from walmart.com. It stores 500 watt hours, and I don't really know all the science to it, but it has a inverter or whatever inside of it so that I could use DC or AC or USB and to charge this bank I have the input cable wired into a lawnmower battery that I've connected into my car engine battery in the front with a regulator so that anytime I'm driving my car it's also putting power into this battery. On paper, this was a great concept and it almost worked great. What I didn't count on, however, is that it took a lot longer to charge this battery than I realized. I thought that my daily driving to the mountain back and forth every day would be enough to keep it topped off. However, it was not. 20 to 35, 40 minutes a day of driving will not keep a battery bank powered up enough to charge your laptop and cell phone and whatever cameras you're using. So I needed a way to charge this quicker. Originally, I hadn't gone with solar because I thought in the winter in Colorado, it would be snowing too much and there wouldn't be enough light in the day to charge a battery. But I realized once I was actually in my van that there was a lot of light during the day and it would definitely give me enough to compensate how much power I was using. So I picked up a solar panel and today we are going to attach it to my sun deck and hopefully get it wired into this guy right here. All right, so before we get started, let's go over all of the supplies that I have for this build. Everything that I show you, I'm going to have linked down in the description to Amazon where I purchased this from so that if you wanna do the same thing that I did, you can get the same products. All right. First off, in this big box, you can probably guess what this one is. This is my Reno G 100 watt, 12 volt, monocrystalline solar panel. Oh, look at that, that is beautiful. I tried to do some research online about monocrystalline versus polycrystalline. And basically what they said is that monocrystalline is more efficient, however, it's more expensive. This 100 watt solar panel was actually not expensive in my opinion. I think I paid $100 for this on Amazon. There might have been some kind of sale going on, but I got it for $100. There was a Jackery solar panel that I almost got. The Jackery one that I saw was ready with like USB ports and all the other um, inverter. There was like, I guess an inverter in the solar panel and that one was more expensive. I didn't not choose that one because of the price. I didn't choose it because it said that it could not get wet. It was like, do not get this in water. Like it will rust and reviews were like, it got moist, like it went all crazy. So being weather resistant is very important because this is going to be on my roof in snow and in weather. And I don't want to have to take it off every time there's going to be weather. Next thing is my battery and what came with the battery. So I didn't have to get this is this adapter. Um, a lot of these power banks, will come with the wall adapter, the cigarette lighter adapter, and then a solar adapter. And so this guy plugs into the input and it will attach to the cords that are part of the solar panel. The last supply that I got is this little hub that is going to go on my roof so that I can drill a hole through my roof and it will protect it from uh, getting insects and water and all that stuff in there. I'll be able to have the cord running from outside my car into the inside of my car. So those are all of the supplies we are going to use. Obviously some 
drills and other things, but these are like the main ingredients that we need to cook this meal. So let's get started. So I was thinking that I wanted it to fit right here because I don't want to put it across the long area because that is the point of having a roof sun deck is so I can mm -hmm. lay down, mm -hmm. but it is too long for this spot. However, it's looking like it will fit above my air vent, which works out because I can't utilize that space for lounging anyways. So, so. now we're figuring out just how to get this flat here. So we appear it's gonna be here. The trouble is those planks are so warped. It would work, honestly, just having a piece and then another piece. It's just one of the planks in the middle is really high. Four to six days later. All right, guys, we are back. A few days have passed since we first started this project because we had to get some other parts and kind of figure out more of a plan. But today is finally the day to do the installation. I bought this guy off of Amazon. It's six feet long and it should be the right polarity. So we are going to plug it in right now and try the solar panel for the very first time. See if it works on my battery. I hope it does because I am ready to like get this project done. All right, time to find out if this works. I'm so scared. The charge is going. So the solar panel is working, good news. Another thing we did in the last few days was we planed this wood so that it would be flat to put the solar panel on. And then I sanded, restained my entire roof deck. It is looking very beautiful, don't you guys think? And then, so that it would be easier to attach the solar panel to the deck and also give a little bit of clearance for my vent, we put together these little L-bar wood pieces which I also stained, and then we screwed those onto the solar panel. So the solar panel has these wood pieces attached to it now, and we will be able to screw the wood from here straight into my wood deck. So that kind of makes it easier because we're putting it onto the deck and not my actual roof. Okay, we brought the solar panel up for our moment of victory, and as everything with the van build goes, nothing is ever simple. So our situation now is that the wood deck is not flat. So you can see here, we're gonna have an issue with connecting this. These little wood L's were supposed to take off the problem of my uneven deck. So now we are going to cut off a big portion of the wood. I guess it would've been good to test this out before I stained it all. Since we've taken this apart to saw it down, I can show you in more detail how these wood L's are attached to the solar panel. So we have holes here with the countersinks and then we get a bolt like this in, a washer and a nut, and then it is attached in like that. Okay, we are up on the deck with the solar panel cut off the long ways and then we did a lot of just like taking off centimeters at a time to really try to get this to sit as flat as possible and now what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to take off this roof panel right there to get these cords to fit below it and then we are going to take off uh, one of these panels to put in that cable housing that's gonna be where the cable enters the van. Alright, undid this panel, we've got the wires going through underneath the deck now, and now we are going to screw these into place. Let's do it, Dad. Boom. just cut my wires which was very stressful um, but necessary because we need it to be separated to put it through this because this cord that I bought already has the plug on it and the plug is too big to fit through these so I had to do this and we are going to splice in another wire to it to get it through my 
housing unit. Okay, so forgot to film splicing the wires, but that is now complete. I have the connection there, and we have another connection here. And now it is time for the part that I am most terrified of, drilling a hole through my roof for the cord to go in through. So we're gonna go right here. Hopefully I don't hit anything. I kind of checked that spot out and I think I should be clear from hitting anything else. I think this is just roof in this spot. Mm -mm. Crossing my fingers. <laughs> What's the uh, uh You don't trust it? Is this what will go through a Let's roof Let's get shot? it. Yeah, huh? it's steel. This will go through a roof? Yeah. Oh, man, I'm so scared to do this. If you guys watched my vent installation, I had a professional shop cut the hole in my roof for that. So this is the first time that I will be going through my metal. Send it. I feel like I need uh, safety goggles or something. I'm kind of scared. Yeah, you want to get the goggles? Yeah, can I get safety goggles? I don't need uh, metal shards flying up into my eyeballs. Yeah. Yeah. There it is. Whoop. Yeah. Here we go. Oh my god, look at this. Does that reach the ground? Yeah. Yes. Success. After all of this splicing and everything, does the solar panel still work? Hey, yeah, I see. The battery is moving. I yeah. can't tell how fast it's charging, but it is charging. So I now have all the power of the sun in my hands. I feel so powerful, nothing can stop me now. As long as that great ball of fire in the sky is still burning, I've got power. I don't need no man to supply it for me. No electricity company, buy PG&E, I'm out. I got the sun. All right, so threw some screws into the weather housing thing, sealed it up with this advanced silicone. I had used caulking when I did my air vent. However, I experienced leaks and I guess it's cause it was like bathroom caulking. So use this instead and I haven't had a leak since. So I think this is the way to go. Now we're just gonna put my roof deck pieces back on and I'll show you the beautiful finished product. All right guys, finished, beautiful solar panel. Here we go. Ooh. Yeah, that looks beautiful on my freshly stained deck. I'm gonna bring you guys inside, show you how it all connects. All right, so we've got solar panel right here like this. Oh my God, beautiful cord underneath my deck into the housing, runs in behind here, way back there. You can't even see it and comes out here, boom, 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 down to my power bank. And that is my van DIY solar panel. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know in the comments if this was helpful to you. Uh, if you're gonna put a solar panel in your van, just let me know. And yeah, this is how I did it. I hope it made sense to you guys and hope you think it's as beautiful as I do. All right. Stay tuned if you want to see more van build videos, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!